immigrants be allowed to stay in the country or should they all be removed? All I can say to you, Piers, is that anybody watching the programme this morning will be surprised that you don't want to talk about the immediate plight of the Windrush generation. Well, we spent the first half of the interview talking about that, and then I don't think it's unreasonable, in light of this scandal, to ask the Shadow Home Secretary what your immigration policy is in relation to the up to a million people that are in this country illegally. You don't want to answer for reasons that are your, your right, of course. No, but I think no, viewers might also, no, viewers no might also be interested in what your opinion is. I am. I genuinely want to know, Dan. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to trap you. I'm just trying to ask Piers. you a simple question. Piers. What do we do about illegal immigrants in this country? Do we let them stay? Boris Johnson suggested an amnesty. You say no amnesty. So the logical fallout for no amnesty is we get them all out of the country, isn't it? Unless I'm missing something. The logical fallout from the state, the Immigration and Nationality Department is in, is to, to try and work towards an Immigration and Nationality Department which is much more fair and much more efficient. And this is something that I'm working on the nuts and bolts of. Right. You, you, you keep saying that, but Diane, I, honestly, I'm not trying to trip you up. I'm just trying to work out what Labour's view of illegal immigrants is, whether they should stay in the country or whether they should leave. I don't know why you're finding it hard to answer that question. You've already said you, there should be targets. And I don't... Yes, of course there have to be targets. But for specific areas of home affairs work, like, for instance, um, deporting foreign national prisoners, Right. OK. All right, Diane Abbott, thank you very much indeed for joining us. The Shadow Home Secretary. You any wiser? <laughs>